Tsunami's been building surf rods now for almost 20 years. The first model that we built was the original Tsunami Trophy Series surf rod. They're good, strong, great actions, and affordably priced that gave an opening price point angler a great rod to get started with and one that he could never outgrow. And we've been building that very same rod for a number of years now. And in the last few years, we are looking at how could we upgrade what we're currently doing without changing the price. And I think the newest model here, which is called Tsunami Trophy 2 that I have in my hands, is, uh, is an updated series that everyone seems to really love. Some of the things that we changed is we took the same technology that we used on our Tsunami Trophy Series slow pitch rods, which are blanks that are very thin in diameter, very strong, uh, small cross section, and actually quite light and incredibly strong. You can bend them in some cases beyond belief if any of the you customers have ever used our Tsunami Slow Pitch Series. We took that same technology and incorporated it now into the Trophy 2 Surf Rod Series. So what you've got right off the bat is a rod that's much lighter, and much smaller in diameter. The other thing we did that's only available on the finest high-end surf rods is a 70-30 or a three-quarter type split furling system. And what's so special about that is that it puts the joint down towards the butt section of the rod and ensures uh, an almost one-piece like feel with the convenience of a two-piece rod. So the 70-30 split is a, is a huge upgrade. Then we went with a cushioned EVA grip rather than the traditional cork tape and we changed the guide train. This guide train is done with uh, a new guide from C, SEA is the company. Um, it has a, a guide, and I hope you can see it here, that the frame pretty much encases the, uh, the ring and keeps the guide rigidly in place. So we're not going to have any problems with wings popping out on these, swivels coming through and knocking knots coming through, knocking guide rings out. The other thing that we changed about it is we made it into a more braid-friendly guide train, which means smaller, less guides, and the no tangle uh, feature with the guide slanting forward so that with braided lines typically are much softer than monofilament, have a bad habit of wrapping around the guide sometime, this will come right off. So those, that grouping of features has really upgraded this rod. We've, we've done the traditional actions that we've always done, which are from seven to 12 feet long, spinning and conventional. Uh, but we've also added a few new things this year, um, and they're called the D-Series. There's an eight and a half foot D-Series, and there's a 10 foot D-Series, which I have in my hand. What's interesting about the 10 foot D-Series, to keep the weight down and to keep the rod um, from being tip heavy, we used single foots up towards the tip of the rod and double footed guides towards the back of the rod. This this grouping of rods is designed for light applications, throwing small lures for Spanish mackerel, uh, light wind-resistant plugs for striped bass, um, casting small metals at Albacore and Benito off the surf in the Northeast. Uh, many applications where you're casting lighter baits and you want maximum distance. Um, they couple well with four and five thousand size reels. These, this whole series of rods is on its way into our warehouse and should be available in stores on or about the middle of December. Retail price points range from $69 or $79 for the seven footers on up to uh, extra heavy 12 footers that are probably in the 139 to 159 range.